Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the General Command of the BDF. His Majesty was received by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi. His Majesty was accompanied by the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty hailed the contributions and continuous efforts in the B of the BDF in combating the coronavirus as part of the national campaign to combat this global pandemic. He expressed appreciation to the BDF for their noble contributions and medical readiness, evident in the provision of facilities equipped according to the highest medical standards and attended by qualified and specialized medical personnel. His Majesty hailed the national efforts exerted by the executive and legislative authorities to sustain pension funds. He commended their continuous and positive cooperation to help pension funds fulfill their obligations towards citizens. He affirmed the importance of the all efforts and initiatives that support people with limited income to ensure their stability. His Majesty added that the Kingdom expresses its support to Egypt and its armed forces and the measures it takes to protect its safety and stability and counter all threats that target sovereignty and interest. His Majesty expressed thanks to the military and civil medical and administrative cadres for their humanitarian efforts against the pandemic, expressing pride in the, such noble stances. He praised the continuous upgrade of the BDS weaponry and the practical and theoretical training systems. His Majesty congratulated the graduates of the BDF's Second National Defense Course and the 12th Joint Command of the Staff Course from Bahrain and other brotherly countries. He noted the importance of such courses that contribute to creating leaders that are able to take strategic decisions in the field of defense and security. His Majesty wished everyone further progress and success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the issuance of Decree 24 of 2020, which adds a new Article 62 to Law of Associations, Social and Cultural Clubs and Private Organizations, working in the field of youth and sport and private institutions, which grants the opportunity to establish clubs in the form of commercial companies in accordance with the commercial companies law. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that His Majesty's issuance of the law affirms his keenness on supporting the youth and sports sector in the kingdom, hailing the efforts and support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness stated that the SCYS was keen on offering the initiative of transforming clubs into commercial companies to continue the sports industry and transform the kingdom into a youth and sports capital during the era of His Majesty the King. He noted that the law represents a quantum leap for Bahraini sports and is in line with His Majesty's vision of developing Bahraini sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the issuance of the decree will pave the way for a sports club to achieve further aspirations in the national economy in the upcoming period, stating that the decision will contribute to increasing economic growth. The follow-up committee for the implementation of agreements and MOUs signed between Bahrain and Turkmenistan held its second virtual meeting. The meeting was chaired by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, with the participation of committee members from relevant ministries and government institutions. His Highness Sheikh Faisal praised the distinguished relations between the two countries and the progress across various fields as a result of the interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Gurban Guli Berdi Mohamedou in strengthening the bilateral cooperation. His Highness thanked the committee members for their efforts to enhance cooperation with Turkmenistan at all levels as directed by His Majesty the King and in line with the high-level political relations between the two leaders following His Majesty's visit to Ashbigabad in March 2019 that constituted a major qualitative shift in bilateral relations. His Highness reviewed the ongoing discussions and contacts between the two countries, noting the importance of activating the MOU for economic, commercial and technical cooperation that stipulates the establishment of Bahraini Turkmen Economic Committee. He expressed aspiration for holding the third meeting for political consultations between the two countries soon, based on its significance and investing in the joint opportunities available. He noted in this regard the positive results of the recent online meeting 
between the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and Deputy Chairman of the Cabinet of Ministers of Turkmenistan and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rashid Meridov. His Highness stressed that Bahrain is looking forward to a solid and growing partnership with Turkmenistan. He stressed the importance of activating the signed bilateral agreements and bolstering cooperation based on the principles and programs of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs said that the suspension of prayers in mosque and mass worship would continue until reaching the required reduction in the virus infection numbers as decided by medical authorities. The council added that people should continue to rise to the highest levels of responsibility and take the health measures seriously for the sake of their families and their country in order to overcome the pandemic. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,209, with 654 recoveries, 602 registered new cases and 7 deaths. The deceased are 86, 71 and 79-year-old citizens, as well as 59, 44, 41 and 73-year-old expatriates. The Ministry of Health expressed sincere condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.